a very good morning to all of you and welcome back to our channel the teacher and today we will talk about another feature of tally erp9 that is integrate accounts with inventory so if at gateway of tally if you press f11 key for features and press enter on accounting features then you can find that feature here and if you have not watched my previous video on how to use sales and purchase voucher entries along with the inventory options then you do must watch that video first and then you can understand the concept of this integrate accounts and inventory feature so in the previous video i have told you that you can set this option maintain accounts only to know if you want to uh, use tally rp9 for inventory purposes so after disabling this feature setting it to no and integrating accounts with the inventory setting this option to yes let me save this by pressing control a and if now we move to display accounts book sales register then you can see all the sales voucher entry here so the total sale value is 23069 rupees and we have two vouchers here 9440 rupees and 13629 rupees and the sum of these two value is 23069 rupees so here one thing i would like to tell you that if i press enter on this voucher then you can see the details of the sales voucher entry and here you can see the sales amount is rupees 8000 whereas we have two taxes as gst and cgst amounting to rupees 720 rupees each so the total value is 9440 whereas the sale value is 8000 and uh, the second voucher is the sale total value is 11550 whereas the total sales voucher value is 13629 so if we go outside at the gateway of tally and here if you move to the profit and loss entry and here you can see the total sales amount is 19550 rupees so in profit and loss you always see the sale value without the taxes like you as you can see here the first total sale value is 8000 and the second voucher value is 11550 rupees that is excluding these tax values from both of these vouchers so you should note that down and if we see display accounts book and purchase register then here you can see all the purchase voucher entries at one place that is what this purchase and sale registers are for and here you can see that the first purchase amount is 18290 rupees and the next one is 28438 rupees and if i press enter on this voucher then you can see that the purchase value is 15500 and the next voucher total purchase value is 24100 so in the purchase and sale registers you see the value along with the taxes whereas in the profit and loss if we see the purchase amount then you can see here the total purchase amount is 15500 that is without including the taxes and the next amount is 24100 rupees whereas in profit and loss you only see amount related to purchase and sale ledgers and the next thing i would like to show you here is that the closing stock value we have is 13300 and we have a gross loss of 6750 rupees so if we calculate this like we have a purchase value of 39600 rupees and a sale value of 19550 rupees and if you deduct this sale amount from the purchase add the closing stock to it then you get the gross loss of 6750 rupees but if i show you the sales and purchase vouchers then you can note down that we are selling the items at a higher price like if you see the a uh, rate list of these items here motherboard 3500 processor 6550 rupees and mouse and keyboard 750 rupees each and whereas if we see the sales register right here so we are selling the mouse and keyboard with a 50 rupees increase in the price that is rupees 800 for each piece whereas motherboard for 3750 rupees and processor for 7000 rupees each so we are selling the items on a higher price but still we are getting a gross loss value here 
so that is what i am trying to explain you here that why we are get, seeing this gross loss and from where it is getting this closing stock value so in my previous video i have shown you that how you can use purchase and sale as vouchers or as invoice so here the first voucher we have the purchase voucher and you can see there are no items under the name of item list and you also see that the purchase ledger section is empty whereas the purchase account ledger is at the bottom of the item list so we need to change this as we have changed the voucher type to invoice later on so we have to update this voucher as well so here i would like to enter the purchase ledger right here at the this section and name of item motherboard four pieces at 3500 per piece or you can say 3750 rupees per piece and i will remove that entry by pressing the space key and choose end of list so now we have the item name in the item list and purchase ledger name under purchase ledger section so we have updated this voucher the purchase voucher and if you see this sales voucher then it doesn't have any item name here as well so i will update this voucher as well and here i will choose the sale ledger name and here i will choose the item motherboard two pieces and each piece for 3850 rupees so here in profit and loss now you can see that the total purchase amount is now 39,100 rupees and total sale amount is 27,250 rupees. Now you can also see a increase in closing stock value that is 20,700 rupees and now we are getting a gross profit of 8,850 rupees. But the question is from where it is getting this closing stock value. So that is what this tutorial is all about. So if I press the F11 key at the gateway of tally for features and go to accounting feature or either inventory feature in both of these sections you can find that option integrate accounts and inventory so if i go here accounting feature you can also find that option here so if i set this option to no so what the purpose of this option is so if i set this option to no and press ctrl a to save the settings and now if i go to profit and loss then you will no longer see closing stock value so that is what this option is meant for either you want to integrate the inventory values into the accounting values that is why it was automatically getting the closing stock value from the closing stock you have so let me show you that again so if i go to the stock summary then here you can see the total pieces we have 12 pieces we have and all these 12 pieces amounting to rupees 20700 rupees but that value is no longer appearing now in the profit and loss. So if I again go to the gateway of tally, press F11, go to accounting features and enable this feature, integrate accounts and inventory. And now if I go to profit and loss, then from the closing stock, it will automatically fetch that value and will integrate that value into profit and loss. That is why you see an automatic closing stock value under profit and loss. So here you can see the same pieces here, 12 pieces amounting to rupees 20,700 rupees. But what if you want to enter a closing stock value manually? So what you can do, you can go to the accounts information ledger and create a new ledger and name it closing stock. And that will fall under stock in hand group. So if you have a previous stock, the previous year stock uh, on 31st March, 2017 that value you can enter here let's say we have a close opening stock of rupees 10,000 and save it yes now we want to enter a closing stock value manually and for that I will alter that letter you cannot add closing stock by entering a voucher so you can create a new ledger account name it closing stock and later alter that ledger closing stock and you can enter the closing stock value right here so first you need to enter the date specify the date up to which you want to enter the closing stock let's say 1st April 
and here would I would like to enter the closing stock value and let's say I want to add a closing stock value of rupees 30,000 now I save it and now if I go to profit and loss then you can see that the closing stock value is still 20,700 rupees because we have integrated accounts with inventory so if I set this option to no and now if I go to closing stock profit and loss and now you can see the closing stock value that you have manually filled under the closing stock ledger so that is how you can manage opening and closing stock values while integrating accounts with inventory and i hope you will like this tutorial let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video and do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a wonderful